Now in this part of the question, we're given that y equals x to the power 4 plus 6x to the power half. And we've got to find dy by dx in its simplest form. So first of all, each of these terms are of the form ax to the power n. Remember, if we've got something like the form y equals ax to the power n, when it comes to differentiating it, dy by dx always equals a multiplied by n x to the power n minus 1. So if we use that rule here then, what we've got is that therefore dy dx equals, and for the first one, our a value is 1, so you've got 4 times 1, which is 4. Then you reduce the power by 1, so you've got 4x cubed. And then for the next term, half times 6 is going to be 3. Reduce the power by 1 and you end up with x to the power minus a half. Now, expressed in its simplest form, I would tend to say that the term 3x to the power minus a half is not in its simplest form. So I would change that to 3 multiplied by. Now, anything, any negative power is the reciprocal of it. 1 over, in other words, x to the positive power here. So 3 multiplied by 1 over x to the power a half. And if you multiply that out, you get 4x cubed plus 3 divided by x to the power half. So you could argue that that's its simplest form. It started off with fractional powers. We finished with fractional powers. You might want to take this a bit further though. That's up to you. But you'll get 4x cubed then plus and then for x to the power half, anything to the power half means the square root of x. So there you go. Different ways then of finishing that. But I would feel that you should be okay with that one. All right.